Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and this is The Groom, and we are here for a midweek movie review with The Groom, as suggested by Mr. Haith. Yes, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. What, are, what did we watch? We watched Hello, Mary Lou, Prom Night 2, directed <laughs> by Bruce Pittman. This is a 1987 supernatural slasher. I guess it's like a weird hybrid between a bunch of different genres. It's a busy movie. It is. So... <sighs> Movie opens in uh, 1957 with Mary Lou, as the title says. Prom night, she's about to be crowned prom queen, and she's kind of just making out with everyone, <laughs> ditching the guy that she went there with, and he's super pissed, so he grabs a stink bomb from someone else earlier, goes to throw it next to her on stage and thus igniting her in flames because the fabric sucked in the 50s, apparently. And nobody understands stop, drop, and roll or how to use a fire extinguisher or a blanket or anything. That's that really the... bothered me. <laughs> One guy went up with a jacket and, and he's stopped. he's like, no, 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 no. I really Why like this jacket. Stop? Yeah, so she's screaming for a good few minutes and yeah, then it's dies. Hor it's horrifying for everybody. Yes. So, dude has to live with the image of his once girlfriend burning to death in front of him and also the other guy the whole school who, essentially yeah. has to live with her the other guy's just pounding on the stairs yeah. like i was just making out with her so then the movie picks up again 30 years later 1987 everyone is dressed very 1987 very that was awesome very 1987 with our new uh main characters i don't remember tiffany not no I don't remember their names. Oh. It's not important. Vicky and the dude with brown hair. And Mary Lou is somehow trying to come through the, the veil to exact yeah. her revenge through Vicky. It's weird. There's, it, it bounces back between like a possession, um, like, you know, like enchanted, like like the, the crown that she was supposed to get crowned Yeah, like a with. cursed object. It's like cursed. And it was, this was a very confusing It's kind of convoluted. Movie kind of a lot of it felt but. it felt like they just kept shouting out ideas like yeah let's do that let's do this too well but what if it's the what if it's the crown what about <sighs> that trunk in the basement <laughs> throw that in there it seemed like it really seemed like they were trying to say her body was in there that's what Which it felt. All right, creepy. so there's one scene in the beginning after she burns alive that there's like a charred skull in the basement and you're like what what? And then the... But then it's like there's nothing anyways. We're not going to give away too <sighs> much of the movie. We're not going to spoil it for anyone if you haven't seen this movie cuz home we don't play that game. But this this is a lot. There seems to be a lot of elements from Carrie and there was something I noticed from well, it maybe it was after this, but maybe it kind of snagged there's a scene with a glove that made me like, hmm. So, um, there, there's, there's a lot going on. And he's seen the original Prom Night and the remake. I've not seen the remake, but of course I've seen the original. The remake with Britney Snow is actually not bad. Well, I haven't, whatever. It's a good slasher. It's a remake. So, um, only thing is this has literally nothing to do with the first Prom Night other than it happens, like, there's That's a scene prom? with Prom. That's like the only thing I saw that was similar. Yeah, that. It's this is one of those you could have just made the movie. They should call have, it Hello yeah. Mary Lou. They should have just, just made prom. it a standalone movie because then I'd be well, no, I wouldn't be less confused, but I guess I'd be less. I am so confused. Like, why call it a sequel? Whatever. <laughs> so don't call it a sequel. What were your likes? Um, I really liked the locker room death. I really like that. I thought that was good. And the very ending, which we won't tell you about, but the very last scene of the movie, I love that too. So those, those, those are those, those are the two things I really liked the most about the movie. What did you like? I liked that there were terrible one-liners before <laughs> people were killed. You love puns. Because I love puns and I love just stupid little accents like that. I liked the carousel horse until I remembered like how creepy the carousel horse got. So that I was like, ooh, boy. I want that. And I was like... I take it back. And I'm like, no, we're not getting that. We're not getting that. And it was real weird for no, the, like, why was that there? Just like being real weird, making everyone uncomfortable. 
than that the other. That happened a lot in this movie. Uh, there were just of, moments where you're like, ooh. Speaking of uncomfortable, what was your dislike? Um, well. Other than the sequel, but not a really sequel, the other, the uncomfortableness. The uncomfortable scene. The, which I know uncomfortable? You did. The... I, for me, I hated the weird alternate universe that they kept throwing her into. I didn't understand it. I felt like it was like, you're trying to like, say the possession thing. There's a lot more obvious ways to do that than this weird, creepy alternate universe where they kept calling her Mary Lou. I'm like, all right, I get it. It's dumb. Stop doing it. I understand. I mean, I, I, I understand what they were trying to do, but I don't know that they pulled it off very well. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that's perfect. I think if they did that better, it might have been a better part of the movie. But it seems like every time they cut to that, I was like, oh god, this again. Yeah. <sighs> and then there was the thing we discussed, the super uncomfortable scene with the dad. There's a weird scene with the dad that I was just like, do we need that? <laughs> do we need that, though? It... You've seen this movie before, and it still made you uncomfortable well, the second, yeah. like, every time you watch it. If you've it's seen that it, creepy you know scene. what I'm talking about. And it's because... towards the end of the movie, and if you've seen this movie, you know what we're talking about. You know what we're talking about. And it's weird that, like, the one character doesn't push the other character away when it starts happening, like, no, 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 this is wrong. He's just like, whatever. But they kind of like drop little hints yeah. throughout the movie Gross. to that whole thing. And anyway, where can we find this movie? Well, we watched it on Shutter, the app through Amazon. Uh, it's also available DVD, most likely still available on VHS somewhere. <laughs> the dig for that. Um, multiple streaming platforms. You can get it. There's a lot of listings for this, uh, like Amazon, eBay, that kind of stuff. So there's no reason why you can't see this if you really want to. Thanks, Zachary. <laughs> um, all right, so how would you rate this? I give it probably like a two out of five just because it's such a bizarre thing that you need to experience and it's weird and like there's a like it does have redeeming qualities like some of the Oh, it really tries. Some of the scenes are pretty neat, like the one with the blackboard that she gets like pulled that. into was really cool that looking. That was a good scene, too. The way they shot it, it being 1987, that was good thinking. Um, I also gave it a 2 out of 5, and I definitely agree. This is something like you would tell people to watch, even though you know it's kind of a bad movie, but you tell people to wa watch it. Not only for all the gratuitous new nudity. Oh yeah, that was cool. You know, and her creepy like T one thousand walking yeah. <laughs> around the locker room, <laughs> reminded me like T one thousand from Terminator two walking around. But yeah, it's just you know you're gonna say suggest this to people, especially if your name's Zachary, and you know it's something you kind of get other people to watch because it's a weird, kind of confusing movie. But it does have some really cool parts to it. Like the blackboard, the locker room. The deaths are cool. The one death they pull the old switcheroo on you. You think you're getting one thing and then... Yeah. Well, there's a, a part particularly at the end with kind of um, a metamorphosis that I didn't... Like, I've seen the movie so many times. I just watched his face the whole time and it was like... It's like, what the... F what? Was, what? It was so good. What? It doesn't make any sense. That's the other part. It just, none of this makes yeah, sense. No. But it's funny. So, I had a good time. I had a good time. Thank you, Mr. Haith. Great suggestion. Yes. Can't wait to hear what you guys cook up next. <laughs> if you guys ever want to suggest movies for us to review together, just drop a comment down below. Let us know. We're pretty open to movies. I know the horror community loves the fact that I have, there's a lot of these classic movies I've never watched. And they love to su they love to suggest them. So I'm open to the su suggestions. Lay them on me. We'll comb through them. F kind of pick out the most popular one. Maybe pick that next, or you know, go to the next movie in the Sleepaway Camp series. Who knows? Who knows? Stay tuned. So if you did like the video, 
please give us a like if you didn't like the video. Please give us a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'd love to have you. Leave a comment down below suggesting a movie. Maybe leave us your thoughts on Hello Mary Lou. What did you think? Did you have the same creepy feelings that I had that just like won't go away now? Because <laughs> I feel, I like feel I unclean. <laughs> unclean. Forever unclean. Yes. Hit the bell <sighs> for all notifications of my future uploads and of course live streams that I never announce because I'm a terrible person and I'm not good at this. We have to start. I will be better at that, at giving you guys at least an hour of notice before the estimated time of starting. I've kind of figured out some stuff, so I figured out that we can actually, quote unquote, plan it an, an hour or more beforehand. So I'm going to start trying trying to give you guys a little more notice on that. So I'm tech end. That's my fault. Sorry. I, I, I will take that. Okay. Um, You can find me, Groom of Reanimator. You can find me on uh, Twitter at Repeat Groom Ray or on Twitch at Repeat Ray Animator. I'd love to have you. You know, we're playing the new video games the next couple of months. We've got a couple of new games coming out. I have a couple of betas that I'm getting early access to games. I'll be playing that too. So I'd love to have you. Love chat. I love chatting with you. Zachary Haith, I picked your suggestion because you're one of my bi biggest followers on Twitch. And I appreciate that. And this is my showing thanks to you for that. So come follow me on Twitch. Maybe I'll pick your movie next. You can also follow me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. And go check out this creepy, 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 creepy Weird movie. Weird 17 genre movie. Yes. <laughs> Enjoy. Good night, guys.